Hallelujah, let's, let's give all glory to God. Let's bless each other. Be at peace. We are the missionaries to save the world. You shall take possession of their land. Inside of Christ, do I have any other worries? Are there people who have come to this worship worrying? That means you're not inside of Christ. May that worry become your praise and your grace. And today, uh, we are we have this graceful message, which is start anew with the way of only. May today be the time where you start anew with the way of only. Many people say. They say that the results are important. The process is not important. Is that true? Failure comes from the process of failure. And success also comes from the process The results do not just come out quickly. Things do not just take place. There, uh, it takes time. And to gain the results of success, the, you must make the process where you can have success. What kind of process we make is what's, what is important. Then how can we enjoy the blessing of the 237 just like the Israelites who conquered the land of Canaan? Inside of the introduction, you must know that there is only two paths if you see in verse 26 today, it says, See, I am setting before you today a blessing and a curse. We do not have three or four paths. We only have two ways. But Satan makes this path that it, that does not exist and deceives us and is making us go into this path that's not that's in between the two and makes us walk it. Many people they are deceived by this and they make religions and they're falling into misconception. But you must always remember, we only have two paths or two ways. And if you see in Deuteronomy 30, 15, it says, it says, See, I set before you today life and prosperity, death and destruction. We only have two paths. It's either life or life and blessing or death and destruction. Then how can we moment by moment receive this blessing? What kind of process we make uh, gives us great results. Uh, 
That's why when the Israelites went inside of the land of Canaan, there were two mountains. In, in front of their eyes, there are two mountains. This, there are two mountains where it might seem like a twin. And that is the Mount Gerizim and Mount Ebel. And in Mount Gerizim, they proclaimed the a blessing, and on Mount Ebel, the curse. What does this mean? It is telling us we must remember that there's two paths in front of us. Many people say, say this. Isn't good things good? Can we just live the life where we want? And without knowing that there are two paths, they are wandering and they are going left and right and living the way they want. But the process is the important. This moment by moment, that process is what is very important. And you must remember that results into a great thing. If we just live the way of the Word of God and results come right away, who wouldn't, want, who wouldn't listen to the Word of God? But the results do not come quickly. There are results that come quickly to us, but there are results that most of the results come later. But without knowing this fact, they cannot wait. Because they do not know this uh, fact, they cannot wait and they cannot, uh, they are always in a hurry. God does not know, uh, there's nothing that He does not know. He knows everything. And more, He is waiting for us. That is why we must have success in our process to have success later on. Then what, moment by moment, what kind of process must we make? It is saying, uh, more than answers, our spiritual state is what is important. To enjoy the blessing of the world evangelization, what must we do? Just like the, uh, the Israelites who conquered the land of Canaan, how can we, uh, what must we do to enjoy the blessing of 237? People who uh, sought the process lightly, they all crumbled. But the people who uh, made the process, even inside of their loneliness, they all went inside of the land of Canaan. Last week, last week I told that the time of today is related to the time of tomorrow. That is why we must not live lightly of today. Just because people are not watching you, you must not live your moment by moment the way you want. Then just like the Israelites who could not enjoy the blessing of world evangelization, you will crumble the same way. We must know that we are living inside of two backgrounds. 
If you see in Genesis 1, 2, and 3, there was darkness first, and God said, let there be light, and there was light. And we're living inside of light and darkness. We're living in two backgrounds. Is it Christ or is it Satan? Is it the Holy Spirit or is it the spirit of evil? We are living inside of that two backgrounds. There are no gray zones in between that two. It's not, it's not three backgrounds. There's only two backgrounds. Is it Satan or is it Christ? We're, we only have two backgrounds and we're living in midst of either of one. And inside of that, everything is decided and the results come from that. Our diligence is not important. Inside of that two backgrounds, what is what everything is decided. It is important for you to study well and go to a prestigious university. And it is important to study well and go get a great job. But no matter how well you study and how uh, diligent you work, we everything happens in, midst, in between that two backgrounds. Many people see only the physical things. But the physical things have no help to us. You must know that. Because inside of the two backgrounds that is unseen to the eyes, everything is decided. That you must know that the things of this world is nothing. But we always make judgments according to the things that we see. We always say, oh, you're smart, you're kind, or you're, or you're, you do this well. We always judge according to that. But I'm not telling you not to do that. The diligence that is out of the gospel is not important. It's nothing. But everybody makes a um, decision through the things that they see. But because they do not know the things that are unseen to the eyes, that is what they are always seeing or think and make decisions according to the things that they see with their eyes. But you must know that everything happens in between, or inside of either Christ or Satan. What is faith? Is it is something that we cannot see, but it, that is the truth. The things that are seen happens be because of the things that are unseen. It is saying that things happen according to the things that are unseen to our eyes. That is why it is telling us what is important is that, that are unseen to our eyes. That is why every day we must make the process of faith. What does it mean by we must make the process of faith? It means we must uh, choose the path of like Christ, Holy, Holy Spirit. 
But there are people who make the path and process of darkness. If you do not receive the guidance of like Christ and Holy Spirit, then you have no choice but to make a process of darkness. And that's why you do the work of Satan and you receive the evil spirit. And that makes the process of darkness. What is the evidence that you are inside of the process of darkness? Inside of all of, the, all of our uh, circumstances, we are we fall into, we grumble and we complain, and we are angry, we are furious. That is because everything is created inside of the process of darkness. And that becomes your... That becomes your habit. And everything that is created inside of the process of darkness, that becomes a habit. And that is why depression and all these kind of illnesses occur. And people who make the process of darkness, we cannot communicate with them. And all of the relationships are broken. And And the first uh, process of darkness was the Tower of Babel. Because of the Tower of Babel, people were scattered. If you make the process of darkness, that is, that is what happens. That is why we must make the process of faith. The decisions and the things that we think and we choose must be inside of gospel. It means all the things that we do, we must follow after the guidance of the Holy Spirit. Because we're living inside of the world that uh, what is seen to the eyes is important. That is why we do not know the importance that is of the things that are unseen to our eyes. It's telling us that we must let our prosperities know uh, the know about Satan and what he does. Inside of this age, their people do not uh, believe in the works of Satan because it is unseen to the eyes. But that has become our background. And it has a hold of the unbelievers. And even the believers, Satan is trying to deceive them so that they do not know. It's the same for the guidance of the Holy Spirit. You people who are saved by the name of Christ, the Holy Spirit guides you and that He will be with us to the ends of the earth. And whenever you pray, the Holy Spirit works. That is the uh, spiritual truth. Then that, then that is when you are able to know that the pain that you are inside, that is not just any kind of pain. You will know that the persecution that you are receiving are just persecution. If you go inside of the 
the guidance of the Holy Spirit, then you will know that the pain that you are receiving and the per persecution that you're uh, are receiving, it is making us throw out, discard the things that we do not need, and make us live inside of Christ. And same for the early church. God uses persecution to raise us up as so that we can be used by the gospel. And through that, you are able to see the guidance of the Holy Spirit and the evidence of that. Many people think that uh, uh, receive, uh, if they receive persecution, that they will fail. But if you receive the guidance of the Holy Spirit, that, then that persecution will lead you. And the people who receive the Holy guidance of the Holy Spirit, they are able to let themselves go. If you want to receive the guidance of the Holy Spirit, do the things opposite of what you think and uh, what your heart tells you. Receiving the guidance of the Holy Spirit is doing the things that you do, you, what you want to do, the, the opposite of that. If you see in Ephesians 2, 3, it says they're gratifying and craving of our sinful nature. They do the thing and following its desires and thoughts. When they were in, when they were in midst of Satan, they uh, follow after what they desire. Then what is the guidance of the Holy Spirit? You do the things opposite to the things that you want inside your heart. Without us even knowing, we do the things according to the physical things. It might seem like nothing, but that brings about great results. Do not uh, take lightly of the process of moment by moment inside your life. Failure is inside of process. That is why make the process of faith every day. That is why choose the gospel every day and receive the guidance of the Holy Spirit. If you receive the guidance of the Holy Spirit, then the darkness will crumble. What is What does it mean by making the process of faith? It means that we have the nine settings inside of us. The triune God is still with us. The Father, Father God is with us through the Word. Uh, the God the Son, as Christ, He's still leading us with the Word. And the Holy Spirit is guiding us. This must be inside of our spirit. And when that when it is upon our spirit, that means that we have received salvation. That is when we are able to receive strength. And we will have, uh, without us even knowing, because we have strength, we are able to enjoy the blessing of Eden. And there, the, you'll know the blessing of the throne, and you'll know the power of the power of transcending time and space, and that is led to saving the and light, and uh, saving the two hundred thirty-seven nation with that light. This must be set inside of us. 
And that is, when you receive the guidance of the Holy Spirit, this comes out. And when you receive the blessing of world evangelization, and you're, when you live the process of faith, all of this are set inside of you. And I really hope that you guys really receive this. Don't think of the process. Always make the process of faith. And secondly, then how can we make this process of faith? Inside of our, today's passage, it says, the answer is there. The blessing, if you obey the com commandments of the Lord your God, which I command you today. How can we make the process of faith? Obey the commandments of the Lord. Many of uh, the disciples of Christ asked, How, what must we do to um, do your work? If you see in John 6, 29, and it said, Believing in the work of God is the work of God. Is believing in God is the work that God requires. Then we must discard everything that is not Christ and God. We must go inside of the gospel. We must discard the things that is not the gospel and really go inside of the gospel. What does it mean by going, going inside of the gospel? Today it says, Obey, obey the Lord your God. That is why we must not lose hold of the stream of the public message. And you are able to choose the gospel and you're able to receive the guidance of the Holy Spirit and that becomes a process of faith and as a result the victory will follow if you see in John 8 31 it says it says if you hold to my teaching you are really my disciple it means if the teachings are inside of us we become the disciple no matter how renowned you are, if you lose hold of the word, then you are not a disciple. If you see in John 8.37, it says, It says, Yet you are ready to kill me because you have no room for my word. That is because the word does not stay, uh, is not inside of us, we cannot become oneness. No matter what the case, do not lose hold of the word. Now, what kind of fight that we, must we fight? We must, it says, o obey the commandment of the Lord your God. No matter how renowned or no matter how smart we are, if you lose hold of the gospel, then you block the gospel. Who, who here wants to block the gospel? But if you lose hold of the stream of the pulpit and the words, then without you wanting, you stand in the line where you block the gospel. I said, you're, you're trying to kill me because there is no room for my word. Really, be the person that where, who has the word. Do you know what idol, idols are? Because you do not have the word, 
you live by your own standards and your own effort. And that is the that is the greatest idol. If you see in Deuteronomy 1, 11, 28 today. And the curse if you do not obey the commandments of the Lord your God, but turn aside from the way that I am commanding you today to go after other gods that you have not known. Do I follow after the word? If you discard the word, then the world has become your background and your standards have become your background. Our, our standard must be only Christ. Whenever we are faced with a problem, we must know if this is the gospel or not. It's not if this is right or wrong. It's Is this really needed in the gospel or not? It's, it's even uh, it's wrong for us to even think about morality. We might say, oh, this is wrong, but God may say that is right. That is why our background must be only Christ. Really, make only Christ become your background. Just like the Tower of Babel, because they wanted to make the name of themselves, that is why they all crumbled. The background of this world, no matter how uh, renowned or how famous that is, it will crumble. And I will tell you again. Only the gospel must become our background and our standard. To, in today's passage, it says, it says, I have, I have set before you today a blessing and a curse. That is why we must go inside of the process of faith. We do not have to be in a haste. Uh, things do not work just because we're in a haste. When we are waiting, God will give it to us. And moment by moment, when we are walking this process, then God will give us. And one day, darkness crumbles. And one day, we'll stand inside of the seat of success. And that is when we become the platform where everyone can come. And we are able to enjoy the blessing of the watchtower where we uh, crumble the uh, where we block the disaster of the field. And we uh, become the antenna where we are connected with God. We start anew with the path of only. And I want you to really stand and become the leaders where you can do this gospel movement. Today we uh, we uh, employ the people inside of prayer and today's uh, word is the answer we're not doing God's work with our standards and our own thoughts we must only go to the path of only If you do the things according to the background of Christ and the standard of Christ, then we will bear great fruit. And I bless you in the name of Christ.
위로부터 주어지는 성령의 충만함과 더불어 영적인 축복이 세팅되어지는 귀한 축복의 응답이 있도록 역사하여 주옵소서 특별히 날마다 하나님의 형상이 회복되어지고 날마다 우리의 영이 힘을 얻으며 우리 안에 참된 행복을 누리는 에덴의 축복이 회복되어지게 하여 주옵시며 우리의 나가는 모든 걸음 속에 보좌의 축복과 함께 시공간을 초월한 능력과 2, 3, 7의 빛에 축복된 응답이 나타나게 하여 주옵시며 이 일로 말미암아 나와 교회와 우리의 업 속에 전부 후만 하나님의 증거의 역사들을 허락하여 주시옵소서 특별히 이 일을 위해서 우리가 한순간 한순간 한걸음 한걸음 믿음의 가정들을 만들어 가기를 원합니다 주의 성령으로 충만케 역사하여 주시고 복음을 선택하고 성령의 인도받는 가운데 믿음의 가정들을 만들어 가므로 말미암아 세상 사람들이 어찌 알수 없는 기중한 하나님의 증거의 역사들이 이분들의 모든 가정과 산업과 후대들에게 있게 하여 주시옵소서 먼저 이분들이 살아남으로 말미암아 교회가 장자의 축복을 이름으로 정말로 2, 3, 7 시대의 일만 성도의 응답의 주역이 되어지는 축복의 주역들이 될수 있도록 이분들을 사용하여 주시옵소서 한해 동안에 하나님께서 은혜 주심을 감사함을 드리옵고 또한해 하나님께서 이루실 역사를 감사하며 하나님께서 우리를 만들어 가실 그 축복된 약속 속에 온전히 쓰임 받기를 원하오니 주께서 우리를 마음껏 주님이 원하시는 곳에 사용하여 주시옵소서 정말로 후대들을 살리며 치유하며 이 삼칠 성도하는 일에 부록, 비록 부족하고 연약하지만 주의 종들이 마음껏 쓰임 받는 귀한 응답이 있도록 주께서 역사해 주옵소서 살아계신 주 예수 그리스도의 이름으로 감사하며 축복하며 기도드려옵나이다 아멘